So if you're looking at this video, you probably are dealing with fire ants. And you've probably tried to use some products from Home Depot or Lowe's or Walmart with little success. So today I'm gonna to show you the products that I like to use to effectively get rid of fire ants and save you hundreds of dollars to not spend money paying an exterminator to come out and maybe do it right. So you've probably gone down to Home Depot and picked up a bottle, maybe something like this. It says it both attracts and kills ants. But in my experience, what you end up doing with something like this is chasing the ants from mound to mound to mound. So I'm gonna show you a couple of products that are going to both kill and prevent ants from coming back. Now there's plenty of products on the market that will do similar things to what I'm gonna show you here, but these are just two of my favorites that I've used in the past with success. Now the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do to get rid of ant hills is find the ant hill, find where they're coming from. When you find the ant hill, I find that the best thing to do is get a product like this. This is Tempered FX. It has two active ingredients in it to kind of overlap each other and get, a, get both a systemic kill and an instant kill. So this is going to kill the ants right away and it also has a systemic insecticide in it that will kill the ants long term. So I like to take this and drench the mound. Now you, the instructions for all this are in the label. So what you do is you take this and you drench the mound. You go all the way deep down inside of the mound and you soak it. You can do like I'm gonna to show today with a backpack sprayer like this or just a pump sprayer or whatever you have. You can spray the mound. I like to poke a hole deep down into it and then flood it and then spray up to two or three feet all the way around the mound. And that's going to kill anything and everything that's there in this mound. <laughs> As with any pesticide, herbicide, insecticide, whatever eyed that you're dealing with, make sure you read the label to understand the instructions for both your application rates and your PPE requirements. It's important to understand that because the label is the law when you're dealing with anything with eyes in it. So now that we've treated the mound itself, let's talk about what we're gonna do to the rest of the lawn to prevent ants from coming back and get anything that you may have missed with the liquid treatment. What I like to use is a granular product. Now, which granular product you choose, that's up to you. There's many different options. I'll show them right here. You got tons of different options. What I'm using today is Bifen LP. Bifen LP is the generic version of Talstar PL, and it's labeled to kill 50 different insects, including ants, including spiders, including all these other different bugs. And so what this does is this is gonna create kind of like a, uh, a barrier all the way across your lawn or where, you know, wherever you're applying this. And it's going to kill, like I said, 50 different species or types of bugs, whatever you wanna call them, and uh, prevent things from coming back. So I like to call this combination a one-two punch. You get to use a liquid on the problem area and then a granule to get the rest and have a real good coverage. I have found from my experience that this kills bugs and keeps them out. So when you're talking about reapplying, make sure you're reading the label. The label's gonna tell you when to reapply. I find from my experience that it's every other month or so. When I've kept on top of that using these two different products, it's really done a great job preventing. So let's go over to where I'm gonna apply this today and show you exactly what I'm doing. All right guys, so I'm over here at my park in my neighborhood. I volunteered to uh, start taking care of this, start bringing it back to life. It's full of weeds, it's full of ants, it's full of all kinds of crap. So today I'm gonna be taking care of the ants. So let's go ahead and show you what we're up against. All right, so I don't know if you see it here. There they are. We've got a little ant hill here. And all over this park, there are ant hills everywhere. So remember guys, PPE is important when you're dealing with any sort of herbicide, pesticide, any of the ides. So I went ahead, put on my long pants, put on my long sleeves, and I have my gloves here. 
nobody's at the park so I don't have anything to worry about there I've told everybody I've informed the HOA that I'm gonna be doing an application and I'm gonna be leaving some placards that I've applied pesticides make sure you're following all of the precautions for safety and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and do the application All right, so like I said, and as you, as you can see, what I did was I poked a bunch of holes in there and then I drenched it with this tempered FX. It, uh, it's gonna soak down into the colony and effectively kill everything down there. Now I've got a bunch more of these anthills all over, so I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna take care of each one of those, and then I'll apply the granular to get rid of everything else. Guys, so this stuff is super fine. It's almost like a sand. Now for an application for ants, it says to use 100 to 200 pounds per acre. It comes in a 25 pound bag. I've got a little under an acre here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put 100 pounds out. Um, I find when I'm putting this stuff out, it's best to open your hopper just a little bit and uh, see how the flow rate is and then kind of adjust it up or down from there. You don't want to, on a product like this, you don't want to have the hopper really far open and use all of it really quick. It'll get really expensive. So open it up really small and go from there. Now these granules you're gonna to wanna to water in. So I'm turning the sprinklers on for a little while, put a little bit of water down, get it watered in. That way it'll create that nice barrier. One thing I do wanna mention guys is all of the products that I've used today are safe around pets and children. Make sure you follow what the label says, but once you water this in and it dries and after you've sprayed the temperate or whatever liquid you choose on the ant mound and it dries, it's safe for both your pets and your children. And with that, that's how you kill fire ants in your lawn. Now, links to all the products that I've used today will be down in the description. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave them down here in the comments section. Make sure you hit the like button if you liked what I did. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. Anyways, I love you, and I will see you next time.